three RV accessories that were so important to us that we actually ordered them before we took possession of our RV. Well, I'm gonna tell you what those are starting right now. My name's Patrick and recently we just upgraded from our 2020 Lance model number 1985 travel trailer to this beautiful Alliance Avenue All Access Series fifth wheel. And there were three items that we knew even before we went to pick up the RV that we had to purchase before the new RV arrived. And so today what I wanna do is share those with you. Now make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm also gonna share a few items that we were able to keep from our old RV and transfer over to our new RV. And those items are just as important, but we were able to save a little bit of money by keeping them. The very first accessory that we ordered for our new trailer was a mattress. Now, this trailer did come with a mattress, if you can call it that. It was the weirdest thing. It had like some plastic sandwiched between two layers of some kind of cloth material. And honestly, plywood would have been more comfortable than that. We, once we knew we were getting this RV, went ahead and ordered a Mattress Insider mattress. Now this is their eight inch luxury gel mattress. It's the same version that we had in our Lance, but unfortunately with the Lance, we couldn't bring that mattress here because that mattress had a cut in the middle because there was a convertible sofa under it. You folded the mattress up and then you could make a jackknife sofa. And we had to leave that with the trailer because it was very unique to that trailer. And honestly, we didn't really want to sleep on a mattress anymore that had a cut in the center. Now, we actually sleep on the same mattress in our house every day of the year. We just have it in their 12 inch, which is more residential, gives you a little bit more lift. But in the RV, we like the eight inch, so we're not quite so high. Now, we paid for this mattress, so if you're thinking, yeah, I bet Mattress Insider gave you that mattress, actually they didn't. We ended up purchasing it just like you would, getting the same discount you would. That's how much we love these mattresses. But we are an affiliate with Mattress Insider, and if you want to save a little extra money, I will leave our link down below in the description of this video so you can save a little extra money, and you'll also be supporting our channel if you choose to purchase one of these Mattress Insider mattresses. Now you can go online and look at all of their different mattresses. You can order right online if you know exactly what you want. But if you need a little help picking out the perfect mattress for you, or maybe you need it customized for your trailer, like in our case where we needed it cut in the center, or maybe you have a rounded corner on one side, Mattress Insider will help you out with that. Just give them a call and make sure you mention that the Delaney sent you and they'll make sure they take care of you and give you our discount. All right, now let's head on outside for the next item we ordered before we ever picked up the trailer. And it's a surge protector. Now this is our Hughes Autoformers Watchdog surge protector. And you might say, gee, Patrick, why didn't you just bring the one you had with your Lance? And that's because the Lance was a 30 amp and our new Alliance RV is a 50 amp. So we went ahead and ordered the same exact one we had, except in the 50 amp version. Now we absolutely love this surge protector. What I love is it will detect if there's any issues with the power pedestal and it will just shut down. The dog will actually go red, letting you know there's a problem. Um, if you overload it, for instance, you had too much running at one time, it's going to shut it down to protect the power pedestal, but you can actually go into your smartphone settings for their app and turn it right back on from the comfort of your RV. And so that's why we went ahead and bought another one. And yes, we are not sponsored by Hughes Autoformers. We paid for this with our own money. I do have a link if you choose to purchase one through Amazon, and I will put that link down below. And as an Amazon affiliate, we do earn from qualifying purchases. This accessory was one I was kind of on the fence about whether we need to order it right away or if we could wait a while. But ultimately I decided, I actually did want them and that was our snap pads. Now we had snap pads on the Lance, but again, different size feet wouldn't work on this RV. This has the nine inch rounds, but we love these. And honestly, I wanted to get them on here right away because with our Lance, we had actually waited about a year and a half before I put them on. The feet had gotten kind of bent and made it a little bit harder to put the snap pads on. So by going ahead and getting them right up front, not only are we gonna protect these feet, but I just love these because it gives you a little bit more stability. They are a nice rubber, they stay on permanently. And so they're also great when you're parking on asphalt or concrete to help protect that surface. So we went ahead and ordered the snap pads and installed them on day two. Now I mentioned that there were some items that we brought from our Lance to our new Alliance fifth wheel. And the first one is right inside here and it's our gas stop propane valves. Now, these are designed to do really three things. Number one, they are a protection that if there would be a major propane leak, it would shut off the flow right at the tank, preventing maybe a fire or an explosion. And that really gives us peace of mind. 
Think your propane tank has a built-in shutoff? Think again. Only gas stop shuts it off 100%. But there's two other nice features with the gas stop. Number one, I can use my gas stop propane valve to check for minor leaks. And it's a real simple test that you can run each time you go out just to make sure that maybe there's not a slow leak. Now, it won't shut off for those slow minor leaks because obviously the valve has to allow some flow of propane so things like your stove or oven can actually function properly. But you can use this to run your own test to find out if there is an issue. And lastly, there is a little gauge right there that will let you know roughly how much propane you still have left. So it's always nice to make sure you don't run out of propane so we were able to just unscrew those and bring them over to the rv now i have ordered two new gas gear braided propane hoses now the hoses that are on here are just your typical rubber ones but we have found in the past is those can kind of dry out and get brittle and i just like the ones that gas gear makes they're a braided hose a little bit more durable and they also have a 90 degree fitting which just sometimes makes it easier to get your tanks in and out and things like that and so those are on order and as soon as they get here we'll be changing out both of the propane hoses inside we were also able to keep these no not the tires the the little stems for our tire minder tpms system now um, these just screw on so they were an accessory we had added to the lance and we just brought it over to this rv and we really like our tire minder because ultimately again it gives us peace of mind this lets us know what the tire pressure is in all of our tires when we're going down the road i just have a little monitor that i keep in the truck and i'm able to see that at all times and it will alert us if there's a sudden increase or decrease in the amount of air in the tires thus hopefully preventing a blowout now this accessory we kept i did ask for permission to keep because i felt it might be something that could affect the trade-in value and that was our two battleborn lithium batteries now these are 100 amp out or batteries and they are close to three and a half years old but we thought we could actually save ourselves a couple thousand dollars if we didn't have to go out and buy new lithium batteries so after we had a deal in place i asked the dealership if we might be able to keep them and just swap them out with the lead acid batteries that were coming with the trailer. And ultimately they said, no problem. You can keep your lithium batteries, which really sweetened the deal for us because again, it saved us a couple thousand dollars. What RV accessories are so important to you that you would consider ordering them before you even pick up your next RV? Let me know down below in the comments. Now I'm gonna go ahead and have you watch this video next of our five favorite products for 2023 for RV. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Bye.